Today we're at Bisong Art Gallery getting to know John Ross Palmer. John has become one of Houston's leaders in the art community. During the course of his 18 year career as a professional artist, John has self-published seven books. He has exhibited internationally and established both his personal gallery and his Artist Escapist Mentorship Program. John, thank you for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? I got started with my art career when I was 24 years old after the tragic loss of my father. I decided at that point to burn our bridges on a security secure type of profession and to make my art work. And to do that, I went out and bought $600 of canvases and I did 10 paintings to decorate my apartment. And a friend saw them and said, have a show. And I did, and I sold two, and that was the beginning. So also one thing I think I did smart in that is when I sold those two paintings, I used all that money to buy more supplies to right. reinvest in my little uh, mom and pop shop art gallery. So that was the beginning, 24 years old, almost 20 years ago. So now. ultimately it was a leap of faith into something you were very passionate about. Absolutely, for sure. And I always think when we see somebody that's very successful in the kind of profession, let's take the Oscars as an entity, for example, that's so glamorous, red carpet, everybody's a tuxedo. Well, the Oscars started somewhere too, and it started on a car table with four little awards, and now we see it as this great right. thing. It wasn't created that way, it's become that. So we have to remember on our journey, we don't start looking like the success we want to be. So we have to start wherever we are, and then the rest will happen. 1218 Heights Boulevard serves as John Ross Palmer's fine art gallery, art studio, and the private residence of he and his husband, Ryan Lindsay. It has been featured in the Houston Chronicle, Houston Lifestyles Magazine, and the 2009 Heights Spring Home and Garden Tour. One of the first times I ever spoke in front of a group of people was with my art at um, a gallery event we had. I think I had eight guests there, and I had to do a little talk about why they were there. And I remember the whole time leaning on the table, couldn't remember any of my words, terrified of speaking in public. So we're talking about eight people. So one of the biggest challenges is speaking in front of people. Absolutely, and especially the, as an artist, you're used yeah, to creating. That's why I became an artist, so I didn't yeah, have to do anything like that. You can speak through your paintings and not necessarily have to verbalize your thoughts. Yeah, and oh yeah, you can be a weirdo. Extremely difficult. Kind of, correct. But now I've overcome that, and so one of my favorite things to do now is to talk in front of people, because I know when you can, <laughs> You're going to affect more people when Hopefully you can Hopefully I'll get speak. there soon. Oh yeah, we're all on our journey, but it, when you can do something in front of people, your message will be louder and you're going to affect more people in a better way. In 2013, Palmer was honored as one of the very few living and working artists with the page on Wikipedia. That same year, he launched the massive Refuse to Struggle campaign, a groundbreaking fundraising endeavor to construct an escapist artist gallery and studios for the entirely free use of future escapist artists. At the time of the catalog publication, Palmer had raised more than $100,000 through a combination of private contributors and a public crowdfunding operation on Indiegogo. To coincide with that year's evening of escapism, former mayor Anise D. Parker has proclaimed October 19, 2013 as John Ross Palmer Day in Houston, Texas. If you're in business and you can't navigate through change, you're not going to be successful. So one of the biggest challenges we had was in 2007, kind of more 2008 in Houston, because we were buffered a little bit from the economy falling apart. The huge paintings I was, I was selling continuously in other cities and in our studio in Houston, all those sales went to 20% of our income when it was 100% making a great success. After humble roots of showing art at Houston area bars and restaurants, Palmer's career has taken a meteoric rise to an international level. His studies under master painters have taken him to all corners of the globe, including Barcelona, Florence, Buenos Aires, Skopelos Island, Vienna, Cape Town, Tokyo, Berlin, Dublin, Jerusalem, and most recently, Sao Paulo. So I started making or creating merchandise at a high level, a high quality product that um, was designed by me as the artist or, or my studio, but that the mass audience could get, you know, holiday ornaments or prints, images on merchandise. So that was a way that I reinvented the other part of my art business, but also that's more sustainable during weird economic things. So you had to adhere to the different economic times. Yeah, and just now there's a diversity within the product line from the fine art, big, large, abstract canvases, which is really what I'm known for, then 
uh, the more the merchandise stuff that we can market on a broader scale on our online store. And have you utilized uh, social media aspects to do so, to reach a different audience? Yes, through Ryan, uh, <laughs> uh, my a partner, husband, business partner. He is the one that introduced the business into the social media realm. And so I don't even know how a business today, I don't think it's even possible to be able to compete in the marketplace without having a social media presence on a colossal level. Absolutely. And if you're looking for something today, you're going to get online, you're going to do some search engine. The accessibility engine. on it yeah. and how the device is so important in today's art world. You're not going to go research something on foot. You're going to pull out your device and you're going to find out where to go from that. So you have to be online, on social media, and in searchable ways. For his dedication to the Space City, the Greater Houston Convention and Visitors Bureau selected John Palmer as a member of the My Houston campaign along with a small group of notable Houstonians including Beyonce Knowles, Clay Walker, Hilary Duff, George Foreman, and George and Barbara Bush. His Facebook page, John Ross Palmer, as well as his Twitter page, at John Palmer Art, have followers in the hundreds of thousands. I think there's two ways that you can lead or be a leader. One is by intimidation, which is demeaning to people. And the other way you can lead is to be an example, to lead by example. And so Tony Vellum for me has been always the kind of leader that leads by example, doing stuff or asking people to do things that you do and be an example for them. And I think that's more of a reinforcing type leadership and it empowers people better and it actually um, creates more leaders within an organization is to lead by example. But in comparison then just giving them orders. Giving orders, but I think if, if you're on the other side of that and you are a leader by intimidation, it, it demeans people, it uses ugly words, it, it doesn't help them to be empowered to do what the organization wants to have done. And what it always reminds me of is as soon as that leader leaves the room, the people that work with them have no respect and they can't wait till they leave the room because they want to go the opposite way. But when you lead by example, it's a family more and um, you're only asking people to do things that you have done and that you would do again. And I just think that's a much better way to have an organization of leaders. Do you think this mentality strongly influenced your establishment of your Artist Escapist Mentorship Program? Absolutely, for sure. One thing I definitely do with the mentorship is I lead by example, and I'm only asking them to, if they need to scrub the toilet, it's because I did it before they were there. And um, it, you need to do all facets of that when you're learning something, especially that's different as being a full-time artist, because you're going to have to wear all the hats. And Jack of all trades, yeah. I definitely believe that in today's art. Oh, you have to know how to do everything. And any great leader, it's always they start in the mailroom. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like it's inevitable. It's never somebody that started elevated to the very top that books are written about or people want to know more about. So it's a, it's a big part of mentorship, the Escapist Mentorship Program, is to do things as we would want to have done and to reinforce the good of the artists, what they're doing, and never focus on the parts that need to be strengthened or be critical of. What are your goals for the future, both personally and for your organization, your gallery? My goals for the future, personally, I think I've gotten better at this, is to be ready 30 minutes before an event so <laughs> I can enjoy the event. And um, I know that sounds simple, but that is the way to really appreciate things more, is to have a breath before things get going. And for the business, I just am excited to see what the future holds with that because of what's happened. Just the Houston art community has grown. Oh, and yeah, the I world of art, and um, to lay a foundation that I'm working on doing by bringing other artists along the road with us is a true way, true way to have a great foundation because you don't want to be the only person playing on a Monday. Right. You want a lot of friends with you and that's what this mentorship will do is empower them to be full-time artists where they are not controlled by a job or um, somebody else. They empower themselves and right. so we can all have fun and play during the day when everybody else goes to work at night. Yeah, and I think you have an immense amount of expertise to offer these artists that join your Thank mentorship you. program. And I think they're really benefiting from your program. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, John, for coming out today uh, to be Song Art Gallery. We really enjoyed getting to know you better, and we're really excited to see what you have to offer the Houston arts community and how uh, John Ross Palmer Gallery continues to develop in the future. Thanks. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed it.